All right, welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to modify our nav here. And I've actually added these uh, character icons to go on the top here. And and then I'm gonna, I have two more buttons here to modify. So I've already done these three, four here. Uh, they don't currently have animation. We'll do that in a separate tutorial. But I want to explain uh, how to get this action here. The first thing is that uh, in Maya, I created a 3D object here which uh, I rendered out and basically brought it into Illustrator and vectorized it and I uh, also vectorized some other shapes. I just have to show you that uh, the home button, uh, contact and so forth. So you'll see some of these uh, already in the scene here. If we go back to Dreamweaver here, uh, here they are and we're going to add two more here. So let's go about this. The first thing we got to do is um, if you look at these, each one has a class added to each of these, so uh, which is very cool. And they're unique classes. And so um, what I want to do is add that to the home here by clicking in here and adding a class. And then I can do that with the 2D artwork. Uh, actually, already has done the 2D artwork here. So uh, let's add it here. So we're just going to click on this little plus button here. And all we have to do is add a dot. And then nav has been uh, my sort of prefix. And then I do an uppercase uh, H for home. And then uh, once I hit enter return, it'll ask, where do you want it? And um, I want it to remain these current styles in this current media query. So I just hit enter again, and voila, it's pretty much done. So uh, over here in the uh, selector now, you'll see the nav home if we scroll through here and find it, here it is here. So in the properties, uh, the first thing we want to do is click on the layout, the first tab here, and what we want to do is change some margin because it needs some margin padding between these two here. And so, uh, if we go in here and do pixels, the problem is we won't have a uh, sort of responsive design. So we're going to go with percentages here, and the one that I've been working with is one uh, percent. So you have to type in one and then shift percent, hit enter, and then um, or you can set the the one first, hit enter. And it will always default to pixels, so you just switch to uh, percent. And now uh, we have a little bit of spacing between these two here. Um, this one, if I click on it, has that. And then um, the other thing I want to do is to get this area here where we can have this animation happen, we need padding on the top. So basically, uh, with the nav home selected, all I do is drag this upwards to a certain amount. Now. Uh, it's hard to tell how much I need until I add the image. And you add the image to the background property. So I'm going to click on this little guy here. And uh, what we're going to do is choose the background image. So click on the folder icon. And what we're looking for, uh, I've saved these out as PNGs and uh, SVGs. SVGs are better because they do, they are scalable vector graphics, meaning that they will be perfectly refined on uh, um, high resolution iPad to a, a mobile device. So I'm going to choose the home SVG here, click OK. And there it is. Now it's repeating right now. So we have to check this little box, no repeat. And then um, the size of this device, uh, we could choose cover or contain. A lot of times I'll use contain if it, if it fits right. In this one example, it does fit right. Next will be the position. This is the X and the Y. So basically the Y, we just drag down to wherever we want just by you know, dragging the slider here. And I kind of want these to be at the position of where they'll be for the final sort of um, uh, after the animation has happened. So like this will be the final version here. So uh, next we got to adjust the text. So we're going to click on the text property here. Change the text color to white. So go to the top right there. And then uh, we want font weight to be normal. And so when I click out here, uh, nav home is not showing up being normal. Why is that? Let's see here. Oh, it, it's probably because it's it's not the, the home. It's because it's where we're currently at right now, the active state. So that's the next thing to adjust, uh, because as you can see, it still adjusts the the hover state on a few of these. Not these here, but these two, they are sort of spazzing out here. So uh, the hover state, the way we're going to adjust that is we need to add it to our selector here. 
And so if we click on the plus symbol here, I can go, um, it's, it's basically dot nav home, and then I move the arrow key to the right here, add colon. And the next thing I want to add is probably the visited first. So click on visited, and then just hit enter return. And the visited, what I want it to be is pure black. So by default, it's set it to black. And then I want the uh, weight to be uh, bold. So now you can see that is the uh, visited, which is the home key, and that's why it's turning black now. Um, then for the the uh, the hover state, which you can see it's not really changing color, we need to add that. So again, I'm going to click on the plus symbol here, and if it doesn't, you know, remember the dot nav home, and then colon. This time we're going to go with hover, and then comma, and then dot nav uh, home colon and then the active state and then again comma uh, dot nav home colon and then finally the focus state so all three of these will essentially have the same properties and basically all I'm doing with these is changing the color to this bright red here and then uh, font weight we want it to be normal so now as you can see as I hover they turn red here now um, now there's no shifting it shifts on this one but not on this one so this is pretty much ready to go for uh you know for the next button we repeat the same process go through all those properties now one way to make this easier is to do it in the code view so i'm going to select dot nav home and i'm going to remember what it is here it's dot nav artwork in fact let me copy this just select this all and then copy so uh, what I'm doing is selecting this and what I want to do is go to code view here and go to my styles and what I'm going to do is scroll down here and it doesn't really matter which one but I did do the, the home last so that's probably the one I want to uh, adjust and what I'm going to do is basically hit return and I'm going to paste just that part there and then what I want to do is select home from here all the way to here so not the dat nav home because I already have this here so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to click in here add a little spacing there and then paste and then all these will be the same now I have to adjust these I have to change these so I'm going to copy the dot nav uh, artwork here and paste it in a couple places so the home here because this is the old home and I'll just paste in there but anyways uh, basically I need to paste those three there and then so all the states have changed the only thing we have to do now is change the actual image which is right here so you can see here it says images which is the folder that's located in, and the the icon is called home so what I need to do is highlight that and then type in two and then immediately we get code hinting here and it's the 2d artwork dot SVG now this image may not be uh, applied correctly if I go back to split view so you can see here it's a little bit higher up but all the other state properties are exactly the same so now it just saves me time and energy by copying that code uh, so this is one instance where copying code can be really great now I just gotta adjust the image so uh, I have to look for 2d artwork basically uh, after dot uh, nav which is right here and then in the uh, background image here uh, I feel like the size is fine but the uh, background position we need to adjust so uh, you know basically I can adjust it here moving it up or down um, doesn't look like it's so this is peculiar it, the program is acting a little slightly buggy right now um, and this happens but let me check my code view maybe I messed up on something here so we've got the 2D artwork, we got the colons, dot nav, 2D artwork, dot nav, 2D artwork, 2D artwork, 2D artwork, and the colons. What I want to make sure to pay attention to are these colons here because if you don't have them set up appropriately, uh, each one should have a, um, I'm sorry, the curly brackets, not the colons. They should have an opening and closing bracket with each of these. And it looks like that's fine. Let me check the spelling here. It's dot nav. 2d and then artwork so I'm gonna go back to the split view dot nav 2d artwork so the the, the spelling is correct um, it's very peculiar 
All right, I'm back. So I saved the file and opened it up again. Uh, the code, I don't know what was going on, but it was acting a little bit buggy. The one thing I did notice was the uh, background size. When I had this set to contain, it had some issues. So I set it to percent and, and made it 98%. You can interactively drag this to make it a little bit bigger or smaller. So I um, could have 100%, but I had around 98 here. And then I can now adjust the X and Y for some reason before it wasn't even um, selecting it even though I had dot nav 2d artwork selected um, so anyways it looks like everything's working out fine now as you can see my hover states are all looking good here is again the active state and uh, everything looks great the last thing I'd probably do is move this whole nav element so um, if I select this I can move this whole thing down through padding um, so let's find that here uh, the nav element uh, here it is and you can see here if I bring this down or up I can adjust the padding uh, which is increases that sort of gray area there but if I add margin I can bring the whole thing down and that's what I really want to do because I want room for these icons to kind of breathe here so um, I don't know if 48 looks pretty good, 48 pixels there or so. Um, I mean, that's the cool thing about this, this whole interactive quality here. And then the padding, I can shrink up a little bit, maybe two pixels looks pretty good overall there. Gives it a nice little bit of room there, um, maybe a little bit further down. I don't know, 50 does look a little bit better. And um, if we look at live view here, here it is. And this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm definitely digging this. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll explain how to do animation for these little icons. And then we'll eventually get to uh, modifying the text here and, and the overall design. Until next time, see you soon in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Cheers.